you reflect a lot when you're doing a painting. Even when you're pre-making, when you're with the creation, this is like being close to God. My name is Nisa Cofino. I'm an artist, I'm a pre-maker. I use a lot of history to put into the pieces. I try to be responsible with using the materials to show it to the public so that the public can get the best out of the artwork. Since I was a small child, I saw myself growing up in this uh, environment with all these artists and these writers. And then I would go to my father and said, I want to learn how to do that. My father used to do linoleum. And I was about maybe four years old, and he started teaching me. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. I get bored easily, so I like to work with different materials, different things, and other things that I might see outside. I don't like to stick just to one thing. I like the change. I like painting or drawing or pre-making portraits of people because you can see the changes in their character that the person doesn't see, but maybe I might see something. It's more about an emotion. Something appears. Like it appears in the drawing or whatever you're doing that you may not capture with a camera or something else, it's, it's, it's different. The more techniques you learn, like itaglio, etching, pronto clay, lithography, all those things, they help you because then you start combining them. It makes it more exciting. Painting the conversation, Francisco Oyer, one of the painters from Puerto Rico who was part of the Impressionist movement in Paris, and he was very good friend with Pizarro. And, you know, in this painting, he's with Monet, Cezanne, and when you talk about experimenting, these guys were doing all these things in painting, and you have Cezanne, who was the father of modernism, and then you have Monet with impressionism, and then you have Oyel doing El Velorio, which is a different type of painting that he did, documenting the history of Puerto Rico. This is very important. This is a conversation, the same conversation we're having here. When I was going to Japan, I was there many, many times. I visited Kyoto, Nara, I even went to Hiroshima. Most of it is the contemplation of nature and of the water and the sand and all those things that you contemplate sort of does something to your mind. The tea ceremonies, also do the same thing. It's about contemplating, not saying much, contemplation inside your, your being and outside. So it's in and out. If you're a creative person, the more you create, the more you are in that line with the universe. That's very important and that's very healing. I keep expanding more because um, I'm open and I challenge myself. My family challenges me, society challenges me. And you have to look at all of those things because we're part of the world. So you have to challenge yourself as a person, not just to do whatever. No, you gotta do the best.